came back negative both, both for the hot water and the cold. But it's a good idea to get it tested. Mm -hmm. yeah, and the, the that, thing that's that, what Janet was and, and the, the bottom problems line, for really. Yeah. The bottom line, I mean, that's the bottom line. It never works. Well. And that was the thing for me. When we had our well drilled, we got it tested for whatever it is that you, the default thing. But I, I didn't know that you need to do it every three years, and we've had that well seven years now. So it was good to know that, oh, we should, this is something we should be doing regularly. And we did do, there were three different things that we did, hot water, cold water, and then uh, where you let the water run a really long time so that you're getting it to come from the well. It has not not any water that was in the pipe system, but way down from the well. Um, and all of ours came back clear. Yeah, I'm on a well too, and I had not had none tested either. So I learned something all the Yeah. Are there any concerns about prior environmental depositions of arsenic of agriculture? That is, I understand that years ago they used to mop cotton was white pesticide on the cotton, and some of that pesticide was arsenic based. I've also heard that they used to have cattle dips to deparasitize external parasites on cattle, and that they would line these troughs, big troughs, put arsenic in it, and, and that there are potential for residual arsenic spots on agricultural land. Is that, is that, is that a concern? Or? That's not an area that we are directly responsible for. So I can't really give you a really educated, sophisticated answer to that question. I don't know that it certainly sounds reasonable or something. Somewhere, I guarantee you, somewhere somebody in the EPA, through the EPA, that, that it has been, has been considered and probably has been done. Um, I think we do a better job in this country or as good, as good as it can be done. But I've read about in, in lots of countries, unfortunately, You made a comment about it being in East Asia in rice. So rice from Indochina, uh, and you said, well, that's one of the uh, major import import the food, but they test it. They test it before it gets here, yeah. so we wouldn't sample sample testing. Okay. Yeah. Actually, the article I've read a, a couple of good e extensive articles on that, and the articles I read allege that. The rice grown in the United States has higher levels of arsenic than, uh, in fact, one of the uh, organic baby food uh, companies actually sourced as their rice from a specific country in Southeast Asia, but they wouldn't say which country because they didn't want their competition to know where their source was, and they guarantee it to be arsenic free. Now. I'm just repeating what the article said. Uh, actually, what I learned about this, I've actually learned that you're searching this talk. What about fluoride in the water? I saw, I, I saw a couple of things posted on Facebook about that recently. It wasn't from Ms. McMahon, it was somebody <laughs> else. Do uh, I? Or, what do you? Yeah, I don't know I, enough I, about it. You know, fluoride is obviously the top of the 